Are you ready to look over my shoulder and see how I create a blog about extreme sports? Hi, my name is Robert and this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to create an amazing blog in extreme sports niche using the free Amadeus WordPress theme. And by the way, you can use the instructions for any niche you plan to start blogging about. I love this simple, responsive and elegantly well-coded theme. It's a very good one to start blogging this year, so let's get our hands dirty. The easy first step is to install Amadeus by downloading it from our website or you can search for the theme directly in the WordPress repository. After the theme is activated, go to Appearance and Customize. Here is everything you need available for customizations. In some sections you'll need custom graphics and for this reason I'll show you an easy and fast way to create your unique one. I use Photofilter Studio without any Photoshop or other professional design skills. Just a basic image editing here. First, I'll choose a custom text for our logo. You are able to find the perfect one according with your preferences on Dayfund or any other source online. It's your choice. I really like this one guys and looks perfect for our subject. So let's download and install the font. The installation process is instant and you can use the font in any installed software on your PC or laptop that has a text editor. Now let's create the logo for our blog about extreme sports. Open the software mentioned or any other software you love to use and start with a new transparent file choosing the proper size for your logo design. I think the best size for this one is 800 pixels wide and 200 pixels high. Click on the text, enter the words and choose a color. Add some fine tuning by selecting a color for the margins and set a shadow that fits perfectly with the white background in the header area. Save the file as PNG after finish and move to the next step. In the header area section, go to the site branding and fill up the fields you see with the site title and a tagline. Upload the text image using the change logo button right under the tagline. Set the size to one that fits perfectly in your header. I recommend max 300 pixel for best mobile experience. Remove the site title if the logo text is the same. Choose if you wish to display only the logo and go down to set the branding padding and the site icon. Here is an easy way to create one. Open a new file with transparent background and insert the characters. Add some finishing touch and save the file as PNG. Select that image for the site icon. Now hit the save and publish button and step forward. Default setting in banner type section is header image, but you are free to create an evo slider or simply nothing. To keep things simple, I leave this setting as default. And by the way, you can choose to display the banner in the header area only on the home page. The menu position can be moved to above or below the logo. I keep this option to below because it's more visible and I like this unique way to display the menu. I have a perfect image for the header downloaded for free from Pixabay. If you wish to be unique, I recommend a paid one. According with instructions here, I open the image in photo filter and set it up to fit perfectly in. Save the image and upload it to the header by hitting the add new image button. No need to crop it because the dimensions are pixel perfect. Once everything is done here, move to the blog options section. If you wish to keep the blog as simple as possible in the meaning of elements to be displayed on, tick to hide the date and authors infos and hide the sidebar both on index and single post. Leave the featured images on because they worth more than words, right? Save and publish, then move to fonts. Here is the section you can use to set custom fonts, size and colors for your body text and headings. The site title and description size can be changed here too. 
I'll choose to let everything as default, but you can change things around until everything fit your needs. The customizable elements in Matter of Colors can be found in the Colors section. Here you have options to change the background color, the primary color, the social area background, social icons color, branding background and all other sections available. If you wish to have a custom background image, you can set it up in the next section. But I recommend to keep it as clear as the white, because even Google love it like that. The last sections are here to offer you a short and easy way to set the menu up, but I use the dashboard menu settings. There are more options available and you can see how to create the social menu. First, please let me show you a way to add icons to the menu items. This way, the menu will look more professional and intuitive. If you have no menu items to insert from pages, create a contact page. An About Us one and the last can be Events, for example. Now, fast forward, install and activate the Menu Icons plugin. Then, head to Appearance, Menus. Create a main menu with the right structure, adding each item you wish to be in. After that, Open the options and set an icon for every item. A house for home and other intuitive graphics for each. Tick the display location as primary menu and hit save. Now let's create the useful social menu. Click on create a new menu and name it social. This menu will contain only custom links and you can add as many as social media platforms you have. After that, open the options for each item and select the perfect icon but keep in mind to hide the label for. This way, the navigation label will be hidden and the menu structure will be displayed exactly as in the demo. Done! Now everything left here to do is to fill the widgets area with your preferred elements. In the footer area, for example, you can choose to display a custom menu, categories and tags. You have many elements to play around with, even the Amadeus custom ones. The static front page need to stay as your latest posts, because this is a blog, right? But you are free to create a custom one for your home page and set it as a static page here. If the option with a static page is better for you, keep in mind to create an empty page named blog that will be the blog page, of course. This can be used in the menu as well. The final option is only for those with deep knowledge about CSS. Now, let's take a look at our newborn, the blog about extreme sports. Wow, it's not just amazing, but really simple to be done. The blog posts here are just for demo purpose, but you can add your own articles by going to add new and don't forget to set featured images for each. Feel free to ask any questions about this video using the comments section below. I am happy to answer them all. Thanks for watching. Share this video if you like it, post a comment, give us a like and subscribe.